Hello from the corner of your screen down here. Today I want to take a minute and have a look at the markers track, which is a frequently asked question to newbies to the door. So let's have a look. So Studio One is very responsive to mouse clicks. So what I mean by that is you can gain a lot of information just by simply clicking on, uh, let's say, a track. So the first thing we need to do is make sure the inspector over here is turned on. And you'll notice now that once we click on um, a track, we can see everything uh, concerned with that track. So uh, any plugins and stuff, the fader from the mixer, all that kind of stuff. So what we need to do is obviously make sure that that inspector is first turned on. And then over here on to the right, there's this little flag icon, which is open marker track. So once I open that, you can see that I've set out markers for this current situation that I'm in which is sampling drums so you can also have markers obviously while you're doing a track like chorus verse bridge solo that kind of thing and so what the marker track does is allows you to move in between those markers at any point in the timeline so by clicking on the track like you would any other track marker track you'll see on the left hand side here it shows us a list of the markers that you have in your session and this little icon here is the playhead so once you press play on your session you can now quickly go through each marker by clicking to the left of the marker name so also too you can use your keyboard by holding down shift and N for the next marker and B for back or the previous marker. So you just have to make sure that the inspector lane is on and obviously if you've clicked on a track you'll see the information for that particular track and make sure that the track marker track is turned on also and click on there and then you can see each one so I hope this helps if you're a newbie to Studio One please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified when I put up a new video see you next time